Good morning, America, and breaking overnight. Stunning developments in the Cleveland kidnapping case. Ariel Castro found dead last night at this Ohio State prison. His death Apparently marked a dramatic ending to a case that shocked America. It was this phone call to the police that ended a decade-long ordeal for Castro's three young victims after one of them managed to break free. Gina De Jesus, Michelle Knight, and Amanda Berry were each kidnapped after Castro offered them a lift in his car. They were chained up in two small, squalid rooms at his house, tortured and repeatedly raped. In a letter found at the house, Castro described himself as a sexual predator and talked of committing suicide. But he agreed to plead guilty to more than 900 charges in order to avoid the death penalty. He told the court he was addicted to pornography. I mean, you look a master, I'm not a master, I'm a normal person. I am just sick. I have an addiction. One of his victims, Michelle Knight, disagreed. I spent 11, I spent 11, years, 11 years in hell. Now your hell is just beginning. The house in which Castro imprisoned his victims has since been demolished, a move intended to help his victims move on with their lives. Meanwhile, prison officials say an investigation into Ariel Castro's death is now underway. David Willis, BBC News, Washington.